you bring this into your life, your yoga will make things possible. You've invested a certain amount of time in yoga, it must flower. For me, this training, uh, the way it is designed, you know, not knowing what to expect on a day-to-day -day basis is really um, interesting and also that it is an experiential process. I'm learning everything through my experience. It's more how I take uh, the asanas or how I take these practices with me and how it deepens inside of me every day has been the growth that I was looking for. You see growth in yourself every day as you, as you walk through this program. One thing I really enjoyed in this, uh, in this program was the teaching methodology that was used. <laughs> Getting that privilege to be inside the Adyogi album has a very distinct energy to it. That the kind of focus that comes within me when I'm, when I'm inside the album is something that has stood out for me. So because of that, the asanas are happening way, way better now. Training is very intense right from the start, but every day there's a new thing that you learn. I can see a huge change in myself being here. The way that I use my language has changed. Like I find I can speak more clearly. Just my experience of the practices, um, they've just become much more intense, but also like there's an awareness there. It's very interesting how that changes the way I interact in, in other aspects of my life, but it's just created a sense of focus and clarity, I suppose, that I, I never had before. I just feel blessed to have been able to experience a program of this nature. Every aspect of the program is designed in a way to make you break your limitations. I really appreciate how much the extent to which the teachers go to really help the trainees become better versions of themselves. I just have so much gratitude towards all the volunteers. It's the way the sadhana, doing it twice a day, every day, has changed me at emotional level, psychological level. That's, that's been a phenomenal journey. Because even though it's something we're doing with the body, now I, after four, four and a half months, I can see how it's changed my mind. So when I, when I will look back in, at these four or five months, I just think of it as a laboratory for self-transformation. And you fundamentally have to change as a person, as who you are, to become an Isha Hatha Yoga teacher. But I think the most touching part for me was the Hatha Yoga teachers themselves. Because they were really touched by Hatha Yoga deeply. And now they want to just spread this across. So that level of involvement that they have, right? To commit themselves every day and being flexible. Right? Whatever is needed, they are ready to do it. Somewhere I think that has touched me the most here. Just at the trips we've been on, you know, all of those moments that have been brought into the course to help loosen and lighten things up, you know, Krishna Janmashmi, that was a wonderful day. I really enjoyed that. What is so fantastic about yoga? What is so fantastic about twisting my spine to breaking point? Nothing, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The mechanical aspect of it, the technical aspect of it, the intellectual aspect of it. Anyway, a lot of people have started talking in terms of the philosophy of yoga. I want you to understand yoga has no philosophy. If you're talking philosophy, you don't know yoga because yoga means you know. It is not a philosophy. 
it is a reality that you begin to experience. It is a reality that you arrive into. It is not a philosophy that you drive yourself into. The basic purpose and the direction of yoga is to touch the innermost core. On the surface we will teach, we will do a yoga studio, we will do this, we will do that. It's okay. What we do in the world is not about us, it's about the world. Hmm? The activity that you do should not define who you are. You get me? You understand what I'm saying? Always people are trying to define themselves with the activity that they perform. Ah, uh, he's a doctor, how did he become a doctor? Because he's treating people. This is a yogi or a yoga teacher, how? Because he's teaching yoga, he becomes a yoga teacher. Anything and everything, whatever. If you do some activity for a period of time, they say you are that. Let them say whatever. You should not define yourself from the activity that you perform. Activity is not what should define us. Our way of being should define us. You don't have to explain this to anybody. This is how you live. This is very important for you. You must establish your way of being in such a way that activity is peripheral. Activity is about the world, never about myself. This is why you must use the sadhana to establish your way of being. If that one thing is done, action we will do as it's needed in the world. Some will bear fruit, some may not bear fruit. Doesn't matter, because anyway it's not about you, what does it matter? If you bring this into your life, your yoga will make things blossom. Otherwise, it will do limited things. Don't do that to yourself. I value your life and you've invested certain amount of time in yoga. It must flower.